Hey, thanks for joining. You did it. Nice job. Introducing our project management trainer, speaker, author, and coach to thousands of professionals and organizations worldwide, including NASA, the U.S. Air Force, USACE, U.S. Army, the Department of Transportation, the FBI, your friend, Phil. Over to you, Phil. Hello, my friends. How you doing? Your buddy Phil here. I got a question here from a student of ours on YouTube. And the question is from Rizwan. And it goes like this. Hi, total 24 processes are sending the change request to PICC process. In your favorite book, <laughs> as I call it, he said in your favorite book at page number 114, the following processes, 6.2, 11.5, and 11.6, aren't captured. So if you open up your PMBOK guide to page 114, like he's saying, the following processes, 6.2, 11.5, and 11.6, aren't captured. Uh, they do not show the change request coming from them in the data flow diagram in figure 4-13. The change request shows in the following pages, 183, 438 and 449 in data flow diagrams. Please let us know whether we need to consider 21 processes or 24 processes. It's a great question. The bottom line is this. The PMI is not infallible. There are a lot of errors in the PMBOK guide, unbeknownst to a lot of people. These errors, when they are brought up, if they are significant errors, they are typically captured in a document known as the PMBOK guide errata. Um, at the moment, there is a PMBOK guide errata for the sixth edition, and if you just Googled PMBOK errata, that would come out. It will come up in, in your search. I would advise that you take a look at the PMBOK errata um, if you are unsure of uh, one thing or another. Take a look at that. But beyond that, um, I would say if you come across anything you think is an error, just let the PMI know. Send an email to their customer support. It'll get to the right place. There are names of individuals who could help. But um, I would rather you just contact the PMI and let them know, hey, I found this error. I took a look at the errata sheet, and I realized that this is not captured in the errata sheet. Now, I very recently raised some of the same concerns about similar things um, with regards to change request and while those will be captured you may not see those in the errata you might just see those in future publications so with all that said what is the implication for your exam if you find there are actually 24 places and not 21 as the PMBOK guide says I will advise you not to get hung up on that um, when it comes to this is an output, this is not an output, and it's one of those repetitive outputs, I would see that as being not as impacting on your exam as other things that are standalone. For example, if you told me deliverables is not showing as an input, that would be a big one for me. But some like change requests, which comes from so many other places, while important, I do not think the PMI will publish another errata for something as small as that. Um, is it important? Yes, but it changes from PMBOK guide to PMBOK guide. On the flip side, you have things like deliverables, validated, uh, I should say verified deliverables, accepted deliverables, things like that. You would expect things like that to have a bigger impact. So for your exam, I would say don't sweat it. Don't pull your hair out. Don't worry if you come across inconsistencies in the PMBOK guide or errors just be aware that many many folks have taken this same exam and typically by now those would have been caught um, even though it's not in the errata um, I'm sure that the PMI is aware of it because many eyes are on the PMBOK guide um, if you wanted to take a look at the errata I would say go to this link tinyurl.com forward slash PMBOK, P-M-B-O-K, errors. That's tinyurl.com forward slash PMBOK errors. 
If you go there, you'll be able to see the latest version of the PMBOK Guide Errata. And I advise that you do. Just take a look. You know, it's, I don't think a lot of the stuff there is, is um, that huge that it will cripple someone's exam. Because you've got to remember, these questions, they're, they're put into the pipeline and they are tested before they are released. So usually when they're anomalies, those are caught, even if they're not immediately updated in an errata. Okay, I hope that gave you clarity on your question. Don't sweat the small stuff. Know that people have been there before you and just continue reading to the best of your ability. Report it to the PMI if you're able to. Um, I got two students who found errors in the past one month and I sent those errors, including the ones about change requests, I sent those to the PMI and they acknowledged, oh, thank you. You know, So they are obviously going to do something with it. Um, it may not appear in the errata immediately, but in subsequent editions of the PMBOK guide, those things we've discovered as errors are going to be accounted for in future uh, publications. All right. I hope that helps you. Thank you very much, Wiswant, for the question. And I wish you all the best in your PMP prep. Remember, if you're looking for training or coaching for the PMP exam, highly advise go to the website, www.praiseon.com. Thank you and bye for now.